Hey everybody, how's it going? Saturday, July 11th, 2020. We hope you're having a great weekend, as are we. Uh, throwing out the next video in the series of Fiery 49. The uh, main issue we knew about with the truck prior to purchase and were told about was uh, that when the truck was donated to the Vintage Fire Museum, that the uh, rear axles, the tires, nothing would turn. Uh, they were seized up, locked up. Um, the story was the truck was driven into storage several years prior but it was stored with the parking brake set in the barn. Uh, so the basic assumption by most, um, including myself, was a pretty pretty simple answer. The shoes um, were stuck to the drums and seized up, not allowing things to turn. So uh, the truck was actually drugged on a trailer and off a trailer by the Vintage Fire Museum to get it into their uh, storage annex. So uh, before we did anything else, wanted to tackle uh, the brakes first, get the chassis at least rolling so it could be moved around and worked on. Uh, as you'll see in the video, Tried the basic stuff. Uh, what we don't show in the video, we ensured the parking brake uh, cable and levers were released, that there was slack all the way up to the adjusters at the backing plate. This particular brake setup did not have access to get to the slack adjusters that I assume are in this brake setup, although as of this time, we still have not got the drums off, but they do roll now. So if you'll follow along, you'll see we did uh, just some basic uh, light tapping, heat applications, uh, ensure the parking brake mechanisms that we could access uh, on the underside of the truck. Everything was loose. Um, none of that eventually worked enough. We could break things loose by hand. But after several heating cycles, uh, tapping around, uh, ensuring things weren't locked up in the carrier, we eventually set the truck back on the ground with the tires on and uh, pulled out the handy dandy tractor and uh, just started pulling the, the truck. And uh, although dragging earlier uh, on and off the trailer had not uh, broken the bond between the shoes and the drums. You'll see we did eventually, um, through that process, get the tires free and rolling, and uh, we're able to take the truck out, drag it around to the garden hose, and uh, wash off several years of accumulated dirt and uh, see the potential for the first time. So uh, the work you see was not futile. Uh, the truck had been pulled around before, but just by skidding the tires. But the stuff we do in the video was enough to eventually uh, not completely break the bond between the shoes and the drums but uh, loosen things up enough that dragging the truck just a few feet, it only took a few feet in the, uh, in the building before things broke loose. So the, uh, the effect was as intended, just not as loose as we'd hope. But uh, things are going great. The truck uh, at the end of this video is rolling, but actually it uh, drives itself around now. We'll get to more on that later. Hope you enjoy. What's up? Help has arrived. Mr. Tabor is here. Um, we're under the truck right now. We're actually just went through the first cycle of heating the drum uh, and some basic uh, persuasion techniques. Nothing crazy. Didn't work. Uh, it's still frozen up. Since I got some help here, he brought some extra lights. But uh, we're going to take the dry shaft out off of the differential right now uh, just to have it out of the way. Also, get us access uh, to the end. We may try some uh, more persuasion and leverage under here just to see if we can rock it back and forth and get things freed up. Anyway, that's the underside. Uh, can't really hold this and take the drive shaft out. Say hi, Jacob. Hey. But uh, we'll get the drive shaft out and uh, get back to trying to get the brakes freed up on this thing. All right, basic rundown. Uh, we're out from under the truck. No issues whatsoever. Getting the drive shaft off of the rear end. A uh, little bit of PB blaster. Mr. Tabor over there got that on. Uh, found the wrench and it uh, popped right off. Uh, we've checked and uh, as we knew earlier, but the pinion's free. Doesn't appear the rear end itself is bound. Everything seems to be tight at the drums. So uh, with that uh, secured and out and out of the way in a place we can put a pry bar in later as needed, uh, we're gonna clear outside of the truck, or not outside, but uh, under the truck. Head back out, we're gonna put another heat cycle on this drum to this side. And uh, it's been through one so far. Uh, had a little bit of change in the tone of the drum. Uh, as we struck with the hammer a few times, but it still sees pretty tight. So uh, we'll give it another heat cycle and see what happens.
You can kill it for a minute. We'll let that cycle pull back down. All right. We'll go heat the other side. I have no idea if it's an open differential, if it has a positive unit or anything else. So it could I be. I don't need to show you. Anything no, I want you to let go of the valve. It's good. So we'll uh, we'll move to the other side. Heat the other one. It may. I don't anticipate it, but it may wind up being that the if the differential or something itself uh, had something weird like a spool or uh, a tight differential. We're fighting both sides at one time. So. Yeah. All right, so uh, the brakes on both sides, we have heated the drums. You can see the, the paint no longer exists on the drum. Uh, we've had some pretty good heat in these, uh, the grease and stuff in the drum smoking. Uh, hammer on them, nothing. Uh, still completely locked. I'm still fairly confident it is the shoes just because the pinion gear is moving. Um, but without having success that way, just to eliminate the possibility um, that it could be in the carrier, or something in the axles or bearings. Uh, we're gonna pull the uh, axle cap off, uh, attempt to get the axles out. That way they're not, uh, this drum and hub assemblies aren't splined to the rear end or other things that could be holding it. Uh, this truck before it went into storage was driven in to the barn where it was stored. So I'm fairly confident it's just the brakes and uh, the shoes being stuck. But um, since we're having so much trouble getting these off, we're gonna eliminate other easy things or at least hopefully easy things we'll pull the the axles out separate the sides so we don't have any other interference and uh take that out so will that pop off while we're filming mm -hmm. give her a little i doubt we'll, I doubt we'll get that lucky oh, not too bad gonna need some stage drive it it's all right we'll clean our mess up but uh as you can see this particular the 4400s on the uh ton and a half two ton trucks the axle this hub on the outside, the actual uh, bearing hub, plates and stuff, or one assembly, the axle is splined to the hub assembly. So uh, we're just gonna try and slide the axle out, disengage those splines, and uh, basically isolate uh, it down to just the shoes, the drum, or the bearing itself, but uh, get the rest of the rear end out of the equation. So uh, like I said, not easy to film this with the location with the truck parked beside two others, but uh, We'll take a few shots as we disassemble and keep you updated. All right, so what we have here, just to eliminate the possibility that we were uh, banging our heads on the wall for no reason, uh, borrowed the axle pull here, pulled the axle out, disengaged the splines on the hub, and uh, the drum is still locked. So we have eliminated the possibility that it's uh, something with the actual differential carrier itself. Mr. Tabor's here underneath. He can show you that it's freed it up. Once we pull that off now, the carrier and differential is turning free, so we, we know that's not locked. Um, the other side, the other drum is still locked. We didn't pull the axle, but the, the chances of the bearings on each side both going bad in storage, uh, probably fairly insignificant. So uh, we're going to continue with the assumption that's the shoes on the drums and uh, work to get those broke loose. We're actually, uh, the heat and the uh, larger hammers didn't work. Still trying to just break this loose and not break things yet. So uh, the... Uh, I don't see any water on the inside of the windows yet, that's good. <laughs> 